Otso Berg, the big star of the Anami training program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Master Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid! Oh! Your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully- No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over! But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore! You're a tool! A weapon! A plaything! We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! You have exceeded my every expectation. Duncan Walpole rose to the ranks to become a master assassin, but he was restricted by a brotherhood which chose to send him across the ocean to the West Indies, rather than find a way to nurture his potential. Once there, Duncan attracted the notice of Loriano Torres, former governor of Cuba and Templar Grand Master. Through their correspondence, Torres offered a less violent way to achieve their mutual goals by using precursor artifacts as a surveillance system rather than the murders and scheming favored by the Brotherhood. Sadly, Duncan was killed by a pirate before the Templars could help him achieve his potential. Although Duncan's story does not have a happy ending, it clearly demonstrates that the Templars' highest goals of peace and order need not exclude personal success and achievement. Sean Hastings was a university professor whose hobby was leaking Abstergo secrets. He was hours away from being killed by Abstergo when he was saved by Rebecca Crane, an assassin hacker. 
Since then, the pair have been inseparable, providing technical support for assassin field agents. Hastings and Crane infiltrated Abstergo Entertainment Montreal in late 2013, and were responsible for the theft of classified information. It is unclear if they planted the virus currently affecting the Helix servers, or if they merely left the door open for other hackers to exploit. Rebecca Crane's skills are not to be underestimated. She created the Animus 2.0, an assassin version of Warren Vidic's original machine. It appears that she was also largely responsible for establishing a new, more secure assassin network. It would seem Crane and Hastings have been promoted within the Brotherhood. There are rumors that they are now leading some kind of hacker collective known as the Initiates and attempting to lure them to the assassin's side.